Yeah, good day YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again here with another video. Today I'm going to talk about these flip caps. One for the oil and the other one for the fuel. The symbols that are on them, on this one, and the symbols that are on that one. And I can even show you a saw going back about 17 years and the symbols were even worse or lack of symbols but if you understand the symbols and you understand uh little notches what positions they sit in then you won't have this problem before how many of you have ever filled the oil up filled the fuel up thought you snapped in the cap picked up the saw started walking with it and oil was everywhere I used to carry the saw with the bar facing behind me rather than carrying it the other way. And this particular day, I had oil right down the side of me jeans, all over me boot. The whole lot leaked out. I've had the same happen with fuel. I'm sure I'm not the only one and I've cursed the cap and thought, who was the idiot? that ever designed this cap. Certainly not the best design in the world. Anyway, we'll just have a brief look at it. So on this particular saw, which is the MS181C, if you have a look, the locking position is at approximately 11 o'clock on the oil, and it's approximately five o'clock on the fuel. But what you will notice, and we'll zoom in there, is there's two positions on here. Now, this isn't highlighted very well, but nonetheless, it is highlighted. Where you've got the oil symbol, you see this round part here. That's unlock. And if you go a little bit further, you'll see the square. That lines up with the black line. That means lock. So, if you were to flip this lid up and turn it, you'll see that it goes over to this part. So, this is the when you put this oil cap in, put it to the round part that actually, yeah, this is the oil symbol here, the chain oil, put it there, and, and if you have a look, you'll see this little notch here. So definitely you can't mistake that notch. And the rest is history. You just turn it into the lock position. That's it. Can't make a mistake. Now let's go to the fuel. That's slightly a little bit different you will see the little square here and if we look closely and we'll see whether we can get in there there's a little padlock let's see whether we can see that yeah you can see the padlock there padlock is closed and there's your square so when we go to the other side which is over here you can see, and it doesn't stand out that much, that's that little round circle I was talking about. So when we flip this up again and we turn it around, and let's turn this around. This is got a little tiny notch, and it's not much of a notch, but you can see that indentation in there, in that cap. So... When you put the cap in, line it up with a round circle and in that notch and twist until you get it back into the square in the padlock. If you remember that, you won't have any problems. So over here, we've got the MS500i and on the fuel, you can see the square and the padlock. And if we go over the back, you can see the padlock and the little round part and if you have a look you'll see the notch in the fuel tank see whether we can turn this around you'll see that little notch again clearly see that notch so all you do is sit that in there and snap it around couldn't be any easier that's pretty straightforward the oil again is not as easy the oil has the round little circle here and 
if we lift this up and we lift this to the circle that's the unlock position and again we'll get this out of the way you'll notice the little notch little notch that's in there you can see how it runs along and it drops down so it's a matter of just putting the black line in the notch and closing it and when we close it if we actually come around here and have a look again it lines up Let's see if we can have a look from the top position it lines up on the little square and that's it it's pretty much like that on all the newer saws these days uh, what I will do I'm gonna go get my MS380 and that's even worse and that's the saw that dripped all oil and went all over me so I know there's a lot of people that curse these caps and they cursed me and I was determined to get to the bottom of it and that's the bottom of it and if you follow those little tips that I've just mentioned you'll never ever have a problem with the cap again long as you know that the round circle is the open hole O for open square for shut that's it we'll bring the ms380 in and we'll have a look at that okay so this is an ms380 and uh it has less symbols or virtually no i don't think there is a city yeah there is a look a tiny symbol down here fuel but around the actual cap no symbols no symbols whatsoever so, how do you get around making sure that this one is set in the correct position? It's actually not as bad as what you think, because, again, and we'll see if we can come around here, it's actually got the notch in it. Now, there's that notch. You've got a little, you've got two notches. One, it's, pr you've got this notch here, it's on the cap, and you've got the notch that's in the actual fuel tank. If you line that up, can't make a mistake. Pretty much that simple. So you must be really aware of that and then just lock it in the position. So that's the fuel. Pretty much uh, foolproof with that little notch in there. But you must be aware of it. It's like everything else. If you're actually aware of these things, then it makes it a lot easier. So we'll just get this cap out. Now, this one here is even probably worse because it really doesn't, it's, yeah, we'll just sort of get in there a bit. You do have the notch in the cap, but you still, I'll just get this out a bit so you can see it. If you look at that cap, there's a little notch in there. See that black part there? If you line that up with the aluminium notch, I don't know whether how good you can see the aluminium notch. It's right there. It's in, it's in the tank. If you line that up there, then you won't make a mistake. It's almost lining it up. There's a little notch down here as well. And pretty much if you sit it in, it locks in the position. So what you've got to remember is that almost is going 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock almost, not quite. It's close enough. So it runs vertical up and down and then just twist it. Once you drop all oil over your pants and down your feet or wherever it else it ends up, you start to learn. Uh, and look, it's happened to me five or six times where I've spilt fuel and oil because the cap didn't go on properly until I thought one day, is there something wrong with this cap? Is there something wrong with me? Surely, it's like, have a look at the gas tank or the fuel cap on your car. There's only one way it can go on. You've got those little slots and the little notches 
And on some of them, what, the left side and the right side, one side's bigger than the other, so it can't go backwards. So you can only put it on one way and twist it. I would have thought that still would have done something similar that to make it idiot-proof, that it could only go on one way. Yes, it does only go on one way, but what you can end up doing is putting the cap in the wrong position and getting the little black washer on top there moved out of position and then you've got to play around with it for a couple of minutes to get it back in a position. Okay, I'm going to show you the mistake, the, the mistake that everybody makes with these flip caps. And when I turn this, you'll notice that that black washer with all the holes in it, see whether you can see it, it stays motionless. It does not move when I rotate the cap. Can you see that? It stays in that position. Now it can be withdrawn, put back to where the round symbol is, rotated. That's where the problem comes. Because when you rotate this, that this fixed part doesn't move, when you put this in the wrong position and twist, then you're twisting this out of position. When you twist that out of position, you, wherever you put it, it won't lock. So you're going to have to fiddle with it to try and get it back in the right position so that it will lock. So it's pretty much that simple that this black part here stays stationary in the locked and unlocked position. The moment that gets out of position, you won't be able to lock your cap properly. You're going to have to fiddle with it with a couple of minutes. And that's where all the fiddling comes from. So, yeah, that needs to be moved into the right position. So, yeah, a little bit of fiddling around if that happens. But if you stick to that rule, how I say this is the open and the other sides of the shut, the square, uh, you can't go wrong. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.